Honestly, I don't know if this vlog is going to make it to YouTube, but if y'all are seeing this, clearly it did. If you are seeing this and this is your first time, welcome. And if this is not your first time on my channel, welcome back. on Amazon and I was looking for sandals just because I have a lot of platforms and I don't want to wear platforms every day to school. Look how cute they are. Now they're very lightweight so far. Here's the outfit for the day. It's Friday so I figured I might as well dress up, do a little something something because I'm also going to a brunch after school with one of my friends. that I got from Amazon. I'm gonna turn this shirt into a halter top because I feel like if I just wear it like this, it'll be too plain. Before, first things first, I'm gonna end up taking off the sleeves. So I'm gonna go from, from this corner, which is going to be the collar of the shirt to under the underarm so that we can just go ahead and take off all the sleeves. Make sure it's accurate as possible. For this first cut, you just have to be really careful that you do not take off that collar. I didn't get it as perfect as I want to, but that's okay. Cause I'm gonna go back in and straighten this up.
I do want the fit to be like a crop top. So this extra fabric over here, I'm going to cut just a little bit, not too much. Both of these pieces, start cutting in a straight line so that it can kind of sync up with the line that we already have. I'm gonna flip the shirts to the back side. And then from here, this is really the easy part. Here's what the back of your shirt should look like. You should have two different flaps. Cut around that back collar, but don't cut all the way. And now you're gonna cut it. You should have all this extra fabric. You're gonna use this to tie around your neck. For all this extra fabric that we have here, I'm actually gonna take this and I'm going to cut it out because I want my back to be seen. I don't see the need to have all this extra fabric anyways. <laughs> You're so spoiled. Here, come on. You're such a spoiled girl. Correct. Cookies before I go to bed. Maybe even like once a week. And this is my oh no, by the way. 
Let's state the obvious. I do have a skincare mask on. This is the, the Neutrogena Hydrating Mask. This is necessary just for a little bit of Sunday reset. Uh, I'm gonna have to take this off. This fell. By the time I had decided I was gonna go to the game, I had already told one of my other homegirls that I was willing to go to brunch with her. Keep in mind, I also had school on Friday. The game was Saturday. Friday came around, I had a class in the afternoon. After I got done with that class, I ended up going to brunch with one of my homegirls. And then from there, I went to pick Vivi up and then I headed out. Me and Vivi didn't end up making it to Baton Rouge until about like 10.30. And by the time we made it, my friend, she was already talking about like, let's go out, let's have a good time. So we went out that night, didn't make it back until like maybe, I don't know, 11 or 12. I didn't end up going to bed that night until about one o'clock. But then the next day I had to be up by nine. I didn't know, I didn't have to be up, I had to be ready by nine. I woke up at six o'clock, keep in mind, I went to bed at like one. So that's already not enough sleep. Woke up around six, I took Vivi out for a walk. We ended up getting some breakfast and getting dressed and doing all that good stuff we needed because the tailgate started at 12. The game started at six. A lot of the after parties were starting at 10. The only reason we had to be ready by nine was because, you know, everybody's pre-gaming, having a good time. That also gave people, if they like got a little too under the influence, that gave them time to shake back. It gave them a few hours at least um, just before they went outside and was in the heat because the tailgate was outside. So the last thing you want to do is be dehydrated and be like super intoxicated because you're definitely going to pass out. And we stayed out there for about three hours and then we took a break, had a few hours in between time because once the game started, which was at 6.30, we were going to be going to a sports bar to, you know, just watch the game, have some food, and just enjoy ourselves. Anywhere around Baton Rouge you were going to go, 9 times out of 10, you were going to be waiting for a significant amount of time. Excuse me, because everybody in their mama was out there. Like, it was a huge game. We ended up going to Hooters, but we had to wait about 40 minutes to get seated, and we had to wait for food. Girl, it was just a lot. And I didn't get in until about maybe 2 o'clock. And, and keep my, I had to hit the road within less than 10 hours. I had just been on the go. As soon as I came home, I had an assignment that was due at 11.59. It's currently 9.06. I finished that paper around 7.30 and then I just chilled out. I took a really hot shower. I had the lights out with the candles. Uh, I just needed time to chill out because I've been on the go all weekend. And not even just all weekend. If y'all want me to be 100% transparent with y'all. If you have known me for a while, I wouldn't say I've always been closed off to meeting new friends, but I've always been hesitant. I've kept my circle small for the most part. I was listening to the sermon today. I was talking about you have got to let people in no matter what it is in life. Like you can't do everything on your own. Once I got out here in Houston and I decided to actually take classes on campus this semester instead of doing everything virtual. Although there were so many bad outcomes from COVID, that gave me the ability to literally avoid a lot of social interaction. Ever since junior year of high school, I have pretty much been virtual. And when it was time to register in March, I was very conflicted between my mind and my heart. Like I was telling my mom, I was like, I don't know if I want to do it in person or I want to do virtual. Like, I don't, I don't know what I want to do. I took a huge step. Like I just said, who cares? I just enrolled for a lot of classes on campus. And I have been getting such a different experience. I've been going out a lot more. I do have to be careful, but that's anywhere you go. There are people that aren't solid everywhere in this world. Not just Georgia, not just Texas, not just Michigan, like it's everywhere. I think it's that HBCU experience uh, that I'm starting to realize why a lot of our alumni of HBCUs, why they push it so hard. I say that because I've been meeting so many new people. Not only are these people like that I just meet from just the middle of nowhere or social media but these are people that are literally in school to either become doctors lawyers engineers um i don't know music uh, go into the music industry go into videography like like these are people that are here to get a degree just like you are it's so easy for me to, to be in biology class and then have a girl next to me I think she's pretty, she thinks I'm pretty, like we're communicating about the no's, but we're also joking around about Lord knows what. These are people that you can go out and turn up with, but these are also people that you can buckle down and study with and get serious with when need be. I really do enjoy that a lot of my teachers are minorities. My teachers are African-American. One of them is African and then 
one of them is Asian. But either way, these are all people that had to work twice as hard to get their degree nine times out of 10, and they had to prove themselves to get where they are. And I was telling my mom, my biology teacher is a woman. Let's start there. And I'm telling her being a woman, she's black. And I think that's so cool because we're very underrepresented in that area. I'm just really enjoying my time. Um, I'm really enjoying getting out of my bubble. It makes your college experience a little bit more easier. I can't speak on it too much because I haven't even been at an HBCU for a full year. So just know making friends that have similar interests will make your college experience easier. Not too much easier because college is definitely hard. Yeah, I'm not gonna knock that. But you get what I'm saying. These past, I don't know, five, six months, I've just been stepping inside my shell. I've been wearing less and going out more. Literally like Drake said. I know, I know, I know.